Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm one of the operators of PreschoolLearningOnline.com and ActivitySchoolBus.com. So what I'm going to be sharing today is how to make an ocean in a bottle. And this activity can be made as a group with older children who are about school age, but I usually like to do this on my own and put it on the shelf the next day for the children to explore. I usually put it on as a surprise. I don't tell them I'm putting the bottles on and then when they see them, the children are occupied for hours with them. They really love them. So for the ocean in a bottle, you can put whatever you want in it, but the main things you'll need is oil, water, a hot glue gun or regular glue, and I have some food coloring, a clear plastic bottle, and then just some fun things to put in the bottle, as you'll see as I go along. So first of all, what you do is you just get your bottle and you fill it about three quarters of the way up with water. And I do want to say too that making these bottles is very inexpensive. When you're done drinking a bottle of water, just put it to the side. You can go to the dollar store and you can get things like oil, food coloring, and a lot of little craft things to put in your um, water bottle to make your ocean in a bottle. And um, it'll probably cost, it will cost you under $10, even under five. So I'm gonna put um, one drop of green and I'll try three drops of blue. Actually, I'll put four drops of blue and then one more green. I kind of like to give it an aqua look. And I'm just going to give it a little shake. And that's perfect. You don't want it too dark so that way the kids can still see what's inside the bottle when we get to that part. And then you just fill the rest of the way up with oil. Just kind of have to do a little guessing with how much. As long as you have the bottle three quarters of the way up, you're good with filling the rest with oil. So fill the rest up with oil. And just leave a touch of room to put your things in. Now this here, I got at the dollar store. I have cut some stuff off, I'll show you. Um, but just use your imagination when you're at the store and you're looking for things to put in. I think this was a piece of jewelry or a decoration to hang up. But what I did is I took my scissors and I cut it and I took the shells off. And so now I have the shells here to use in my bottle. So I'm just going to put those in my bottle. And it's good to have a variety of things that sink and float because the children really like to see all the different items in there. And if some sink and some float, then it's more interesting for them than all, everything just sinking to the bottom. Okay, so that's my first thing. So those have sunk to the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I have a container here with just little beads in them. So what I'm gonna do is just open up the beads. I can get them open, there we go. And I'm just gonna dump a whole bunch in. There we go, and that'll just add something extra. Whoops, I'll leave that on the floor. <laughs> and then all you have to do is, uh, if you wanna put one more thing in, I just bought these foam shapes, and they are adhesive, so I just took the, um, they have little white things on the back to make them stickers. I took them off, because they obviously won't stick in the water. So I'm just gonna drop those in. those ones will be floating. Whoops. And then, oh, actually, before we do shake it, you just grab your hot glue gun. Just put a big dollop of hot glue in the lid. And give it a twist. And that lid is never coming off. And I don't have any with me, but what I usually have stocked up on is um, glitter for my hot glue gun so that way if there's any spillover from the hot glue it's all sparkly and it looks really really pretty so all you do is you give it a good shake 
and everything's floating all around and it's ready to be used. Now when the children um, get these bottles, they're going to be shaking them, tipping them upside down, rolling them and things like that. So that's why it's a good idea to use the hot glue. Um, and another thing I like to do is use a textured um, water bottle because children are very sensory orientated and when they um, oriented and when they get the water bottle and feel the outside and see the inside and the things floating and the things sinking and all the colors it's a very very good sensory experience for them so there's your ocean in a bottle and I have lots of uh, water bottle activities and things to make that I'll be showing but uh, this is the first one and I hope you use it in your class and I hope it works great so I'll see you soon. Thanks.